Isaiah will hear these words. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest. As people exult when divine upon them. For the yoke of your burden and the bar across your shoulders, the rod of the oppressor, you have broken at the, on the day of the dawn. O God, bring light into our broken world.
promise of the coming Messiah is a persistent theme among the Hebrew prophets. The ancient world waited with hope and anticipation for the anointed one whom God had promised. The Holy Scriptures let us see that God stands firm on God's promises. Repeatedly, the Holy Scriptures tell us that when God makes a promise, we can trust that God will fulfill that promise. Centuries passed after Isaiah proclaimed that a light would come to the darkness. There may have been many who gave up believing that Isaiah's light would ever come, but God operates on God's time, and eventually the light came into the world and welcomed a Savior.
birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him tightly in bands of cloth.
To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This shall be a sign for you. You shall find the child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone back into heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, astrologers, or well-educated men, came from the east asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? 
Herod secretly told the wise men to go and search diligently for the child. He told them they should bring him word when they found him, so that he could go and pay respect. After they heard from Herod, the wise men set out there ahead of them with the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, and knelt down and gave him respect. They opened their chest and presented the child with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
around me is the event that calls all of us to come together, to work together, to make the world more peaceful, more just, more welcoming for all creatures. The power of God's forgiveness made known in Jesus is the love that binds us all together and asks us to accomplish something good. Jesus calls us to love God, to love our neighbors as ourselves. Jesus calls us to pray for anyone who persecutes us. Jesus calls on us to do unto others the things that we would like done to us. That's around me.
haven't had a chance yet to thank the kids with your applause, so I would invite you to do that right now. Since you sang so well, I'm going to let you have cake and ice cream. <laughs> Is there anybody who's opposed to that? Okay, Nicole, you go with us. I'd also just like to, to thank Christine Stam, who's our Sunday School Superintendent, who would just offer a round of applause to Christine. And you can't see the Sunday School teachers laying on the floor up here, but thank them. <laughs> And certainly all of the other instrumentalists and the senior choir and our star pianist, Lynn Nature. <laughs> I am pleased to report that this is the first service during this Advent season that so far Lynn has gotten everything right. Thank you. <laughs> As soon as um, we depart from the sanctuary, once again, you're invited to the lower level for food and fellowship. After the choir and the kids sing their closing anthem, Go Tell It on the Mountain, I would ask that you just remain in your seats to let the kids and the choir get out of the sanctuary first, and then run to the food line. <laughs> Go Tell It on the Mountain!
Thank you.